All right, guys, checking in real quick today with the MEE Audio Pinnacle P1s. Um, I wanted to just do a quick review on these. I've been um, asked a couple times about what I think of in-ear monitors, and the truth is I don't get to use them very often. Um, I, I just don't. I For my needs, I kind of need a open back headphone most of the time, or at least a semi-open one so I can hear the environment around me. When I do, um, I will be very frank, I have not tried a lot of in-ear monitors. Um, I've had one or two that hurt my ears a little bit, and most importantly, um, comfort. Uh, I had probably two different ones I tried that really I found extremely uncomfortable. And then I believe, it was either on the Super Best Audio Friends forum or Reddit, I can't recall. Um, I described my preferred sound signature and uh, comfort issues and someone recommended these to me and um, so I picked them up. I wanted to share them with you because I've used these, I should probably use these for a year now um, when I get the opportunity and basically uh, I've never had a reason to move on to something else. Um, I think if I was going to try something else, it would probably be the Mass Drop Plus, just to try the, kind of the next um, thing. Um, but this, so I like these for a lot of reasons. Um, one, with the included tips, I find them very comfortable, um, which again is the biggest thing to me. But they have a, they have a very good seal. So I put them in, or at least to me, like I know when I put them around, I, I can't be in certain environments or um, it's an issue for me. I really like the cord, the cable. I feel like it's very nice, the right length to have on my desktop. Plugs into my amp nearby real, real well. Um, they are fairly high impedance and a little bit hard to drive. I've never actually tried them off my phone because when I travel, I just use the included earbuds because I don't. I don't really game while I travel, and uh, I can see these, they're not super efficient, and they have a fairly high impedance for a in-ear monitor. I think they're like 80 ohms, but they're, I want to say like 90 decibel per milliwatt um, efficiency, which isn't very efficient, especially for an IEM. They're a pure dynamic driver. Um, I haven't tried any balanced armature, but I know that Several folks who align real closely with my sound profile preference find balanced armatures to sound off and a little bit um, irritating. That's when you have multiple drivers within the, the monitor itself. Um, so I just haven't tried them. And like I said, it, I'm not saying those are bad, but given that for me the next one up is like a $300 purchase, I don't get to use them very often. And this one checks all the boxes for me. I don't really have a reason to move on. But to get into the specifics of why else I like them so much, um, they have great soundstage and great imaging. I mean, if you can use in-ear monitors at your gaming setup and you have what you need to power this, this is easy. You can get these new off Amazon right now, I think for like 150 bucks, or used for like... 70 to 90 dollars depending on the included accessories and tips. I mean, they're super affordable and uh, They're great for competitive gaming. I mean, they're really great for competitive gaming. They have a little bit of a boost in the uh, mids um, You get a great ability to pick up footsteps and um, and shots for imaging shots, but you um, there's not a ton of bass here, you know, so that which is actually a great thing for me You know, I'm always pad swapping to perforated pads because I want to take out a little bit of bass uh, So this fits the profile of what I want Perfectly and I think for a lot of people who might watch uh, or align with my preferences um, This is it man. It comes with a little carrying case comes with several tips to try. It's got a great cord and uh, Yeah competitive gaming hyper effective um, and then you're not dealing if you find them comfortable you don't have any clamping force to deal with you don't have to worry about weight on your head um, so as long as having something in your ears doesn't bother you and these aren't a real deep insert at least the the ones that I use because um, that would bother me if I had to put in like triple flange I won't do that 
Um, so it's a dynamic driver. It comes with the nice, I think they're Compli tips. Um, yeah, I just want to share it with you guys because I think um, when it comes to like uh, soundstage and imaging, I would put this spot on with like a DT880, like easy, if not better. So you're right around that range of, of items and I mean, they travel well, they're, they're super affordable, lots of good things here. So I know there's some other audio files kind of rank them in that C range. Um, I think they're better than that for my use case. Um, I don't know that I've ever listened to music on them because I have no need. So uh, anyway, yeah, I want to share that with you guys. Hopefully you find that useful. Um, if you have any other questions, just let me know. If there's any other IEMs that are semi-affordable you want me to check out, I certainly would be open to that as well. So thanks for tuning in.